Hey, what's up everyone? Kevin here at Madden Gaming, and today we're going to be taking a look at how to submit your cards for grading with MGCards.com. So, MGCards is a pretty new grading service, and um, let's just go ahead and come down here real quick. I got a few examples I'm going to show you guys of what, what you can get here. Um, obviously, we got a Mint 9 Charizard here, but uh, you're going to see here in a second the labels have changed a little bit. The first 151 cards graded were printed with a, uh, like a green background label, so they're sort of like limited edition grading or whatever but uh yeah they're, they're now blue like this guy back here i'm going to show you in one second but let's go over the label real quickly to show you guys what you're going to get with these cards if you submit obviously it's mg cards has mg cards there you got a nice holographic uh grade box grade here pokemon's name and then it's going to tell you the rarity if it's holographic or not number uh english japanese whatever the uh, language is going to be is going to show up uh set name and then obviously they all come with subgrades so you're gonna get the uh, subgrades right here on the front I'm gonna zoom in real quickly and show you up close a little better so there's the uh, label not too bad the big thing is gonna be the back people are gonna love this back so we've got all of the grading details on the back and the little diagram here telling you exactly what's going on and why your car got the uh, grade that it actually got so as you can see this car has a perfect uh, surface the corners are bad on the back. The front was good. Uh, the edges had some damage on the top front and the uh, left side and bottom on the back. And the centering on the back was uh, a little bit uh, too high and a little bit to the left and a little high on the back, as you can clearly see by looking at that. But uh, it's measured out. It tells you exactly how far also. 0.7 millimeters off towards the top. So not too bad. That's a mint Charizard there. This was actually given away in a giveaway. I got to ship this out when this video is over. Uh, I slept in. Well, I didn't sleep in. I fell asleep last night, so if I, if I look really tired, that's why I got like no sleep. I woke up this morning. I'm like, oh crap, I didn't do my video. So here we are. And then, like I said, the labels have changed recently. So we are now at a blue label, which I think complements the green. The blue and the green work together pretty well. And uh, not only that, when the holograph, the holographic effect on the green, when you move it, there's actually some blue in there, so it really works together. But anyway, here's our mint nine Pikachu. And this is the McDonald's 25th anniversary promo. This was also given away uh, on my Instagram recently, so I'm going to be shipping this out uh, here today or so. But uh, one more thing I want to touch on. I mean, here's a Digimon. You can grade Digimon cards as well as um, Magic, Yu-Gi-Oh, uh, Gate Roller, things like that. But what uh, MG Cards does offer that's really cool that nobody else really offers yet. Well, I mean, obviously besides the back. The back here, nobody else does this. That's pretty crazy. Anyway. If your cards are good enough to get a 10, pristine 10s are going to get a nice silver border, which I don't have an example here for you, but they are silver. We'll see one on the website here in a second. Um, but if you get a perfect 10, you all you get this nice holographic gold border with a holographic gold box, and it just works beautifully, especially with this Scent Scorch. This shiny Scent Scorch here looks great with the gold border. But uh, yeah, there's that. That's what happens if you get a 10. And then this guy here... Um, something I want to touch on real quickly Yu-Gi-Oh cards are small so they go into a sleeve an inner sleeve inside the um, uh, slab here but there's actually an option uh, when you check out to request sleeves on every card you have now it's gonna tell you um, that it could impact viewing and whatnot that is because if you see this card here this book this Pokemon card is in a perfect fit sleeve which is what your cards will come in if you request it but it'll, it'll say impact viewing because, you know, they create a glare if you look at them at, a, at an angle. So if this is in a slab and you look at it at an angle, it could cause a glare. Plus, it looks like it's damaged because the sleeve is damaged. That's why that's why they're not generally put in these. But so many people ask for them that there is an option now on checkout to ask for these sleeves if you want them, even though it is not recommended. But it's up to you guys if you want to do that or not. Anyway, uh, that's that. Let's go ahead and move over to the computer. And we will check out how to actually uh, go about submitting your cards and what it's going to cost you guys to get your cards graded at MG Cards. And uh, spoiler here, it's actually pretty cheap. All right, so here we are at the computer. As you can see, I've already got MG Cards pulled up. Just making sure it's recording. It's all good. MG Cards is pulled up on the uh, computer here. And as you can see, there's a little important notice. It's just letting you guys know that the green label is changing to blue, which I just showed you. And again, it happened at 152, making the original 151 labels the only green labels. Now, anyway, if you come down here, 
this is the main page of uh, the, the website here. You can either click submit your cards right away if you've done it before, or if you want to learn some more, click on this, which we're going to do. We want to learn about the service a little bit. And you got MG cards right here. That says where your cards can shine, obviously because of the, uh, the holographic borders and stuff. So there is that. And here's an example of the silver. Like I said, I had the gold to show you, but no silver. This is a pristine silver. I believe the text actually changed. This was a like a prototype. It now actually says pristine instead of PRI. But anyway, that's that. And then it says here at MG Cards, we want grading to be simple, fast, and easy, and provide the best looking and functional slabs we could you could possibly hope for. Which I feel that they are pretty good looking slabs and uh, functional, definitely, especially with the thing on the back, the diagram that tells you about the cards. Now, simple and easy. Uh, this is a big one right here. This is going to be a lot different than any other grading service out there right now, really. Right here. No memberships, no express lanes, no complicated tiers. And essentially what it goes to tell you right here is that it's $13 per card, no matter what. And it doesn't matter what you're grading, which uh, series, and how expensive the card's going to be, if it's damaged, not damaged, anything like that. It's $13, easy as that. Nothing else to say there. It's pretty easy. And then fast, um, I'm not going to read this entire thing to you. If you want to check it out, go ahead. But uh, essentially what it says is to make sure your turnaround times are low, they only accept so many orders at once. So say they get like a thousand cards ordered, they're going to shut the service off. So nobody else can order until they get enough of those done to where wait times would not exceed what they don't want to pass, which is three weeks. I believe it says it right here. Uh, Expect, expected to be no longer than three weeks for returns. So if at any point they feel like the returns are going to be longer than three weeks, they shut the service off so that you cannot order any more cards to back the service up. Which is kind of an inconvenience to some people if they want to grade. It's going to be a few minutes. I'm just realizing right now that my microphone is not moved. Sorry about that if you couldn't hear me. My microphone was over there. I forgot to move it. Anyway, essentially what this is telling you is, um, or uh, no, I already said that. If, so this might be an inconvenience for some people because they want to submit at some point in time, but they might not be able to get in. Um, that is understandable. They actually, they actually touch on that down here and they say they apologize for that. But to make sure that cards that are already sent in get turned around quickly, that way nobody's waiting for their cards or... They have to worry about their cards being safe or getting lost or anything like that. It's just, it's better for the people that have submitted. And then they even say here, if, if you choose another company because of that, that's that's up to you. But uh, they want to make sure people that have their cards in get them back quickly. And then it goes on to the informative slabs here, which we've already touched on. So there's that. And all of your cards actually come back with grading notes, like this right here. This is actually an example from um, Digimon. And it, this is how the cards are graded and everything. And you're going to get this one of these for every card. And it explains to you why your card got what. And you can see the actual notes and what they noted. Um, if anything's crossed off, like this thing right here. They put like a little mark here, but then it's got an X on it. So uh, it was passed. And some more little stuff here. Now, anyway, let's get on to the grading cards part, which is what you're here for. So just click grade my card. You could have done that at the beginning. But uh, it's going to bring you to this here. Just a little bit of information tells you it's graded on a 10 point scale. You guys know that that's how cards are, Pokemon cards are graded. Uh, send your cards in. Pack your cards in a way that you feel safe. So whatever you feel like doing. If you want to put them into a bubble sleeve, priority box, you want to ship them in an actual box. It's up to you. Ship them however you want. Uh, you can put them in sleeves, top loaders, um, the semi-rigid sleeves, whatever you want. And you're going to get them back. It actually touches on that somewhere. I'm not sure where. I think it's down here. We'll read that in a second. But, uh, and then here is the shipping address to ship your cards to and write your order number on the package. But we'll touch on that in a minute also. And here are some uh, discount codes if you're going to spend a bunch of money on here. That way you guys get your money's worth. And then real quickly, I'll touch on the thing down here. Your top loaders will be returned. Your top loaders are going to come back to you. No matter how many you send in, you're going to get them back. Rigid sleeves, you're going to get the actual sleeves back, all of that. So that is pretty cool. Nobody else really does that that I know of. And your overall grade of the card may be one full point above its lowest grade. 
Uh, it generally doesn't happen because it takes such a big difference. Like if you get a 2 on like the surface and a 10 on the centering, it's probably going to be at least a minimum of a 3 grade. Well, it will be a minimum of a 3 grade because that's a big enough difference that it's going to pull it up by 1. Unless obviously the other two are terrible. But anyway, uh, and like I said, cards are returned within 2-3 to three weeks, typically. Now, let's get to the actual submitting. I know we've been talking for 10 minutes now and you don't know how to submit a card. So here we go. Let's click Add to, add to Cart and see what we do. So TCG Type, which is uh, the, the game, you can pick Magic, Yu-Gi-Oh, Digimon, Gate Roller. We're going to go Pokemon right here. Um, I actually, I just happen to have a card sitting here. I have a Snom, so we're going to enter the details for Snom and just see what we got here. So our name, we're going to put Snom, not Snam. Um, set name, this came out of Sword and Shield. We'll just put that. It's Sword and Shield base set, but you can just put Sword and Shield. There's that. Set number, this thing is 063 out of 202. And it's an English card. And any errors and considerations, like um, example which shows Hollow's World. You can put anything you want in there. Like if your card has some uh, hollow bleed, you can put that there. And if um, if it's acceptable, they will put that on the back of the slab as like a note. Um, hollow swirls, if you got those, they put them on there. They'll put hollow swirl on the back of the slab. Uh, errors, like if it's miscut, things like that, they'll put them there. Or if it's got something special, you think it's really cool. Not anything's going to be put on here. If you put like weird notes, it's not going to happen. But some things will get put on the back in your errors and considerations area. But we've got nothing there, we'll leave it blank. Hit add to cart, and it's easy as that, that one card is added. If you want to add more cards, you can just uh, do another one. Say we're going to grade two snoms, we'll just put snoms information in again. I thought that was going to select that, but it didn't. We'll just go like this. There we go. Uh, this is number 063 out of 202. It's an English card, and no things there. Add to cart, now we've got two cards for grading. And whenever you're ready to check out, once you're done doing that with all your cards, just um, click the little cart option here at the top, and uh, it's going to show you your, how many cards you got in here. And if you made a mistake, you can always go back into the cart and click ed Edit Details and change them and fix them, or remove them if you want. But whenever you're ready, uh, you just hit Check Out right here, and you're going to need to put your email and stuff in. We're going to go with Kevin Madden at mgcards.com. There's that. And we'll continue. Card sleeves. Here's what I was talking about right here. Would you like your cards put into a sleeve before they are sealed? This may impact viewing, but will provide greater protection. So this is entirely up to you. Uh, this is not optional. You must fill one of these out. So I'm going to say no. I personally don't like the sleeves on them. They, they are well protected. They don't move around if you put sleeves on them. But they cause a glare sometimes, and I just don't like them myself. Then you can put in your shipping. We've got um, P.O. Box. That says P.O. Box. P.O. Box 226. Uh, Wellsville, Ohio. Oh, what am I doing? That, that doesn't go there. That's the city. I've got everything all messed up. Wellsville, Ohio. There we go. And that is also my shipping address that you guys can use if you want to send anything into the channel. So put in P.O. Box 226 if you want to send anything in. Anyway, we'll continue on to payment details, which I am not going to fill out right here because I don't want it to blur everything out. But anyway, uh, this is the last step here you can fill out. You can use a credit card, uh, PayPal. I believe some people might even see an option depending on uh, what you're using to check out um, with some sort of pay later service. But uh, I'm not entirely sure where it shows up because I don't see it here. And then that's it. You click continue, review, review, review and purchase, and that's it. And you can see our total here is going to be $26. That is because return shipping is included. You don't have to worry about that. All these other services charge you an arm and a leg for grading because they're going to charge you like a minimum of like $20 per card to grade anymore. Plus they're going to charge you like at least $40, $50 for return shipping. Return shipping is included. And you get your top loaders back, so that's all good. And taxes are included. So if you want to send in one card for grading to test this service out, you can do that. It's going to cost you $13 flat. That's it. Easy as that, $13, obviously, plus the uh, shipping cost from you uh, to get the card graded. But $13 flat rate, that's not too bad, honestly. It's pretty good. Now, it's a new service, so a lot of people are skeptical about the slabs and everything and the grading uh, quality. 
but they're, they're pretty good. And uh, anyway, let's go ahead and move back to the table real quick and I will show you guys how to package your cards and uh, how to write on your uh, package so they get um, graded and they know what you're what, what you send in. All right, now that we're back over here, let me just move all this stuff out of the way so I can properly show you how you should uh, send this this card in. Here's our beautiful little snob from earlier. And uh, again, here's one of our perfect fit sleeves. Let me put it in. Put that in there. And there's that. What we're going to do now is we're going to package this thing up to ship out as best as possible. And it's one card. You can easily just put one card into a top loader or a semi-rigid sleeve. That is up to you what you want to use. And that's pretty well protected. Now, a lot of people are going to put these in cardboard. Do I have any cardboard here? I do not. I wasn't prepared, to, obviously. I'll just grab these two really thick pieces. Oh, these are cardboard. They're not the kind of cardboard you want to use, but anyway, you can put two pieces of cardboard on here and tape it up like that, and that would uh, that would protect the card pretty well. Obviously, this is like thick paper, so that's not going to do much. Anyway, after you do all of that, you can throw your single card into a bubble mailer here. I'll just drop it in here for an example. I'll just, I'll just throw it in there. And then you're going to print out your shipping label and everything. And then, like you were asked to do on the instruction, that says, please write your order number on the package. So, I just got a pen here. Oh, yeah, a pen should work. Say we got order number 177. I don't know. So, just anywhere on here, just write down, like, number 177. You can even write order 177. Do it on the back if you want. And that way, when your package gets there, they can check it in, they know what it is, and uh, you will also get a confirmation. Once the package is there, usually within a day or so, you'll get an email, or an email rather, that uh, says your package has arrived, it will be scheduled for grading, and you should receive uh, your, you should receive another email saying your cards were finished within two to three weeks, typically. But uh, there's that, that's how you guys submit your cards to MG Cards for grading, and you guys seen a few examples. I uh, still love this center scorch here. This thing's beautiful. I might even give this thing away before long. Beautiful card. I love the I love the gold and the uh, silver borders. I think they're awesome. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I hope you guys found it informative. And if you guys want to check out MG Cards, go for it. Uh, there's a link in the description as well, mgcards.com or MG Pokemon. Uh, both domains are the same thing. They take you to the same place. But thank you for watching, everybody. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and uh, good luck. Hope you guys get some good grades. I am now going to go take a nap because I am really tired. <laughs> Alright everybody, see ya.